I do have these gliders, but our carpet is like sandpaper. <laughs> so I even tried plastic bags and my legs still got caught. So I'm gonna try them. If you have socks or gliders, that's great. You don't need weights, but you might wanna use them for your wrists. We are gonna have tuck holes and, and reverse planks. So this type of thing will help, but you don't have to have them. Tuck holes are hard to do without elevating yourself. And we're gonna just start, uh, let's just start marching. Palms are away from you. And you're gonna do nice arm circles going forward. Get those arms in first. Bigger arm circles. And then palms are facing in front of you. And your arms are going behind you. And let's go side to side. Just get our a little bit warmed up, loosen up. And we'll take this into a nice little jog. Get those arms moving right away. <laughs> My husband and daughter just collided off screen. <laughs> if you could have heard the smack. All right. Inside, outside, get those arms going. We're gonna start nice and slow. Not a lot of cardio, but I still have cardio. Other side, I think it's important to keep that heart rate up while you're doing things. And some jumping jacks. Low impact you're here. Otherwise, all the way up. And front and back, open that chest up. Shoulders open and side to side, little IT band, piriformis, all on the sides here. Hamstrings, which mine are always really tight. Opposite arm and leg, they've been super tight lately. One more on each side. And some squats, get those knees warmed up. Weight in your heels, chest up. As you get comfortable, go a little deeper. After this one, we'll add a heel lift, getting those arms in there, all the way up on your toes. Make those calves up a little bit. If you wanna add a couple hops, add a big hop to it right here. Get a couple of those. Three more. Three, two, one, hold, nice and low. Slow as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Little wider stance, inner thighs and shoulders. This next one, hold. Try to go as low as you can. Roll your wrists in one direction. I almost said ankles. <laughs> Roll in the other. <laughs> other side. Tight fist and open up. Right in the middle, lower back. Stretch your back up. Other side. And then you're just gonna try to open your hips as much as you can and just pulse back and forth. Turn to one side on your knee. You're gonna open your hip flexors. Watch your knees go behind your toe. Straighten it. Go back to hip flexor, straighten, twist your leg back and forth. We're gonna go to the other side, same thing. Hip flexor, hamstring, hip flexor, hamstring, twist that foot side to side. And then you're gonna go to your plank. Nice tight plank, down to your elbows, warming that core up nice and tight side to side. Get a couple more. And onto your hands. Walk your hands back. One last stretch right here. We are going to start with a Tabata. I always start with a Tabata or HIIT training or something. Here's where if you have gliders. A couple of options. So we've got two exercises. We'll alternate them. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Six rounds. Options. You can do mountain climbers, tuck up. I thought a little bit harder. And then even to straddle up, trying to go as high as you can and back down. I'm gonna lose my glider a lot. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> and I'm gonna probably hurt my toe in the meantime. That's the first exercise. Second one, heel taps. Low impact, you're here. Otherwise, up here. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. 
grab your gliders if you have them. Otherwise, you can do mountain climbers. You can just jump, jump forward. That's fine too. Get ready. You have five, four, three, two, one. Right here. I'm gonna try to straddle up. I've been trying to work on pressing and stands a little bit. So trying to bring those legs up as high as you can. You have 30 seconds. As you come down, stay nice and tight. Squeeze your stomach, squeeze your glutes. Try to go right over your shoulders. You're over halfway. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You have 10 second recovery. Couple heel lifts, get those calves, ankles. Deep breath, five, four, three, two, one. Heels, 30 seconds. I always feel like these are harder than they look. And my arms haven't grown. You're over halfway, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Get ready, keep your breath down a little bit, your heart rate down. You have five, four, three, two, one, 30 more seconds. Round three of six. Bring those lower abs, bring those legs up, stay tight, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one. My family's trying to use recycled cardboard plates. They're kind of sticky. I'm not sure they know that. Turn that plate upside down, Bella. Get ready. And you have five, four, three, two, one. They have to have a shiny surface to use those paper plates. Halfway. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that's halfway. We have four more rounds. You have five, four, three, two, one. Thirty seconds. Remember options, 15 seconds. These are all the options. 10, five, four, three, two, one. Get ready for heel tap. You have five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. Three more rounds. So we're gonna slow it down. A lot of core work today. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, those are hard. All right. Two more rounds. You have five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. Squeeze those stomach, squeeze the abs. Weight over your shoulders. Halfway. Last time here. Maybe try to go a little faster. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, one more. One more heel tap. Get ready. Couple heel lifts. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. A 
Last round. Half way, 15 seconds. And we're low impact, you're here. Almost there. As hard as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, walk around a little bit. Get your heart rate down. We're gonna start with push-ups. So don't want your heart rate too high. Grab some water if you need it. We're gonna start with four on push-ups. All right, options. Always options, so bear with me. I wanna make sure everybody has an option. So, four on push-ups. Your elbows are right below your shoulders. You're pushing up. Then you're gonna walk. Okay, yes, Matt. <laughs> walk your hands out as far as you can. Hold for a second. Slight back and up. Options. One arm at a time. Walk out, walk back. Other option. Here, just going like this. That's hard enough. Because we have one minute. You're really gonna need to squeeze your stomach. Here we go. On your elbows. One minute. If you can, both arms at the same time. Reach out, hold, come back, down. Getting triceps, core, keep going. Try to remember to alternate your arms that you reach out with. It's a slight reach out. You're not gonna be able to go very far. Halfway. Oh, you should feel that stomach. Squeeze your stomach. Make sure your back doesn't sag. 20 seconds. Dig in there. 15. You could just be here, up and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, take it out. Okay. Reverse plank. If you have your gliders, go ahead and use them. I'm gonna give my husband these because they're tall and he's tall. It's gonna help a little bit. You don't have to use weights. I don't know. All right. Without weights, you're just sliding back and forth as far as you can. If you have weights, you could help your wrists a little bit. It allows you to come back a little farther. You wanna go up as high as you can, come back as far as you can. Coming back is working your stomach and your triceps. So it's important to try to come back. 45 seconds, then we'll go into tricep dips and then reverse plank hold. So let's go ahead, hips up, 45 seconds, right now. Here, if you don't have gliders, you're just here, that's fine too. You're just gonna miss the extra pullback. Feel it as you go all the way back. Try to get those hips up behind you. Squeeze at the top here. Halfway. Almost there. Well over halfway. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It's small movement, just eight tricep dips. Eight, elbows go behind. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna hold here for 30 seconds. Option, one leg up for 15. Other leg, go ahead and start. I'm gonna put one leg and then switch. You should feel this in your glutes, in your hamstrings, and those triceps should be burning. <laughs> You're almost halfway. Get ready to switch if you have one leg up. Right now, 15 seconds. Try to get those hips up so hard. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake that out. So, good news, 
that's all there is for that set. We will come back to it after this Kavada. <laughs> I said there wasn't as much cardio, right? You guys know you never, never believe me. Okay, it's more core though. First one, six rounds again. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds just to get you to the next one. First one, rope climbs. Here, bringing those shoulders off the mat as much as you can. Second one, options, just a reverse crunch. If you don't have a mat, you can go here, here, or all the way behind, all the way up. You can stay here and go back and get more reverse crunches. You can add a hop, so many options. So I know a lot of you might not have a real soft ground, so the whole roll up might be hard. We're gonna start with rope climb in five, four, three. Two, one, 30 seconds. Really try to get those shoulders off the mat. Using more of the upper abs, the really pretty ones you see. The roll-ups will be using a lot more core and your lower abs. Over halfway. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, just hold here, get ready to rock and roll. You're going all the way up. I even use my arms to push myself up. You have five, four, three, two, one. And then I'll use my arms to help push me up. And I'm just gonna use a jump because I want to get as many roll-ups as I can. Get those feet right underneath you. If you have troubles, you can straddle. That makes it easier. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You have 10 seconds. <laughs> My pants are falling off. Get ready, you have five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. We have six rounds. Pull up as high as you can. Really reach, make it count. This is halfway here. And then we go back to the push ups. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Move around a little bit. You have five, four, three, Two, one, 30 seconds right here. So add a little hop. Now your garage floor might hurt on these. I hope you have a match. 10 seconds. Five, four, three. One, get ready, two more, one of each. Go ahead, you can roll, you can stretch one out. You have five, four, three, two, one. Last time here, 30 seconds. Halfway, just 15 seconds here. Maybe go a little harder. 10. One more set of roll ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Maybe we tuck and roll. Figure out how to get that back nice and round. Five, four, three, two, one. Last set. <laughs> My husband just made a real loud roll sound. I hope it's okay. <laughs> it's pure comedy here. Too bad you can't see it. All right, 10 seconds. Just go as hard as you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. We're done with that. We're going to go back to 
the forearm or sinks push-ups right on your forearms lifting up out out back down or you're on your forearms tapping front we got one minute ready and go ahead and start one minute up out elbows are right underneath your shoulders push nice and tight make sure your back isn't arching that's gonna hurt it make sure you're not hiking basically a hollow hold in a push-up position nice and rounded I hear doorbells hello goodbye <laughs> hope somebody's coming 30 seconds left Twenty seconds. Then we have reverse planks. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, check that out. So I heard there was a lot of legs this morning. If you took a season class, good news is we don't have a lot of legs. We have a lot of something else. So, reverse planks. 45 seconds. Dip and a hold. All right, here we go. And up, go ahead and start 45 seconds. Whole range of motion. You're getting just about everything but your legs. And if you squeeze those quadriceps, keeping those legs as straight as you can, you can also get those quadriceps. A little farther, farther than you think you can on the way back. Over halfway. Ten seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, hold. Oh. Eight tricep dips. Eight, seven, they're small. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and bring those hips up. You have 30 seconds with both or one leg. I'll give you halfway. Oh. Feel those hamstrings. Feel those glutes. Feel those triceps. You have five, four, three, two, one other side, or if you're staying with both, 15 seconds left, 10 seconds. Oh, I'm trying to get those tips up there. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, the good news is we are done with that set. We don't do it again. But we do have a four minute, as many reps as possible. I'm gonna do it in one minute chunks. Everything you do four times over and over again. If you're done with cardio, make it a strength. You don't have to go really fast with it. You could just do a strength. So you have four moves, uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking through here. You have three moves, each one you do four times. The first one. Okay, first one, donkey kicks. Choices, here. Yeah here or side to side obviously side to side is a lot harder you're gonna fatigue those shoulders getting up on your shoulders as much as possible you could do mountain climbers you could just be here going like this four times all options second one push-ups any kind of push-ups four push-ups four donkey kicks four push-ups anything you want to do four chest press your choice four shoulder taps four plank up and down Last one, four squats, four squat hops, or four machine jumps, tuck jumps. You could do jumping jacks, any kind of cardio. I'm gonna do squat hops. So four, four, four. Donkey kicks, push-ups, squat hops. You have one minute to get as many of those in as you can. Ready? We're gonna start with donkeys. Go at your pace. Donkey kicks, starting right now. Four donkey kicks, if you can do donkey kicks. 
And then I'm going to hop down to my push-ups. Four push-ups. I'm going to go to squat hops. I'm going back to donkey kicks. I'm going to push up your pace now that you know what you're doing. Squat hop. Halfway. You can count how many rounds you do. Try to beat it each time. Or go slow. Use it as strength. I'm going to give you 15 seconds in between each round. We have four rounds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk around a little bit. Oh, three more rounds. Slow or fast. All right, you have five, four, three, two, and one. One minute. If you go over those donkey kicks, tuck and roll. Press your chin to your chest. Halfway. Seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. All right. Fifteen seconds. Two more rounds. I guess this is cardio. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Round three. Halfway. Almost there. Ten seconds. Five. Four. Two, one, oh, one more round. And then we really will slow down some more. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Mom, to find as much as you need, go as hard as you need. This is your workout. So whenever you do, don't stop, find something. Halfway, 30 seconds left, that's it. Fifteen seconds. Go a little harder. We're gonna repeat it. Five, four, three, two. And one. Oh, all right. Take everything out. Grab some water if you need some water. We're gonna do something a little different. We've done it in one of my classes a long time ago, but I'd like to make it more of a. We're gonna do a little longer 
than before. And I'll show you what we're doing. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't hear my water bottle. <laughs> Need some funny noises. Okay, so you're gonna be in what we call an L sit. As much as you can, you're gonna try to stretch forward. That might be just right here. That's fine. You're gonna hold. If you flex your toes, you will feel it all the way through your calf. If you just relax them, it might not be as painful. Your choice. 20 seconds. Stand with your legs as straight as you can, your arms as forward as you can. You're going to try to lift without touching the ground 10 times. If this hurts your back, it might be that you're back here. That's fine. Or one leg at a time. If you've not done these before, you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. We're gonna do this two times. So stretch forward. We're gonna stay here for 20 seconds. Relax, breathe into it. Just breathe, 10 seconds. We're trying to get those hamstrings nice and loosened up. So your legs can go a little higher. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze those quadriceps, knees to the ground. Try to lift your legs 10 times. Here we go, 10, nine at your pace, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, relax. You should feel that in your stomach, your quads, and your hip flexors. Relax forward. Last time, then we're gonna go to a straddle. Here we go, hold. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. You should feel this in your quads. Squeeze those quads nice and tight. Here we go, 10. I'm on six, five, four, three, two, and one. And I've practiced these quite a bit and they're still not that great. So if you're barely making it up, doing one leg at a time, don't worry about it. I've been actually trying to work these. Then you're gonna straddle. Here's where I've lost a lot of my flexibility. You're gonna try to keep your back as straight as possible. Your toes are kind of trying to go back, not forward. Knees facing the ceiling. You're just gonna stretch as far as you can for 20 seconds. Once again, that might be right here. I have you going. 10, five, four, three, two, one. Up, same thing. You're gonna try to squeeze your legs as tight as you can. Try to get those legs off the ground. You may be here, you might have to do one leg at a time. It's really hard. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. You should feel your quads. If you're bending your legs, you're not gonna feel those quads. Okay, we're gonna do this two more times. Stretch forward, I know this is different. Might not be what you're used to. Stretch, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you can lift your legs, go ahead and do it, but I'm gonna add a difficulty. <laughs> You can try to do circles. All right, if you can't, don't worry about it. Here we go. 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And forward last time. Just when you think it couldn't get worse. <laughs> Stretch forward. But at least we're not jumping. Stretch, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna do circles the opposite direction. If you can get your legs, just get your legs up, that's great. Otherwise, join me. Here we go. 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, shake that out. All right. Now we're gonna go just to hip dips. Here, hip dips, or here. Back to something normal. <laughs> 30 seconds on each side. Go ahead and up, start now. Really try to stretch as high as you can. Get those obliques. <laughs> Elbow or hand. Halfway on this side. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Yeah, you can do thread the needles. You could do oblique crunches, anything else. Other side, get ready. 
up and start. 30 seconds. Really crunch it. We go to Superman's after this. We repeat this section and we move on. Halfway. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, Superman. You're actually gonna lay your whole body on the ground. Opposite arm and leg come up for 20 seconds. Same, same leg and arm come up for 20 seconds. Then you're up, just going in and out for 20 seconds. Okay, here we go. Opposite arm and leg. Go ahead and start. 20 seconds here. Halfway here. Get ready for same arm and same leg, 20 seconds. Just trying to distract you, mix it up, but keep doing the same motions. <laughs> I hope it's working. 10 seconds. Get ready for both arms and legs up. Right now, going in and out, 20 seconds. Try to bring them all the way back together. Your legs when you come back to center. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stretch that back out. Just relax a little bit right here, from side to side. Okay, so we're going back to the L sit. We're just going to do two of each. Straight straddle. Here we go. Stretch forward. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 10 leg lifts the best that you can. 10, nine. Your count. I'm on five, four, three, two, one. Stretch forward. You might get cramps right here too. It's gonna be kind of crampy. Breathe and stretch. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Last time. Ten seconds. I'm halfway five. All right, straddle, just two. Stretch forward. Oh, this hurts me so much. 20 seconds for you that kept stretching and kept your flexibility, I'm so jealous. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 10 leg lifts, you can do circles if you want to. Wherever you're at, I'm halfway. Okay, stretch forward. 20 seconds, last 20 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Last time, squeeze those quadriceps. Feel it in, those, in your quads. Five, four, three, two, one. My family's looking at me crazy. All right, <laughs> side dip. <laughs> 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Get ready, in position, hands or elbows. Go ahead and start. 30 seconds. Halfway. 15 seconds, 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, get ready in five, four, three, two, one. Last 30 seconds, we have Superman and we go to tuck holds. A lot of core today, just body weight. I feel like that's enough. <laughs> 
I'll get my hand right underneath my shoulder. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, Superman. 20 seconds opposite arm and leg. 20 seconds, same arm and leg. 20 seconds going back and forth. You ready? And start 20 seconds opposite arm and leg. Try to keep that leg nice and straight. Goes into your hamstring if you really bend those legs. You wanna get those glutes in your lower back. You ready for same arm and same leg? Go ahead and start. 20 seconds. Last time here. 10 seconds before we put both arms and legs up. Five, four, three, two, one up, in and out. Try to squeeze those legs together all the way out. 10 seconds, squeeze those glutes. Feel it burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax your back again. Just sit back, go side to side, stretch it out. Okay, next set. Oh, we've got plenty of time, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to use these weights. You don't have them it's fine i will say it's a little bit harder i gave my husband the tall one i'm a little jealous the lower to the ground the higher you have to bring your feet up so we have a 10 second tuck hold you can do it without sometimes i go on my fingertips to give you a little bit of height you have to bring your hips up not just your hip flexors you've got to use your stomach muscles you can also one leg at a time we have a 10 second hold and a tuck then you're going to go back 20 second hold and a hollow hold. Higher the legs, the easier, lower, harder. We're gonna do that four times in a row. So, here we go. And up, 10 seconds. If you straighten your legs, it's way harder. Five, four, three, two, one, down, hold. Nice neutral head, breathe, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, up. We've got three more rounds. Here we go. Up, hold. You can be here. Five, four, three, two, one. So hard. Down, 20 seconds. We've been using these stomach muscles a lot. It should be hurting. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, two more rounds. Here we go. I like to give myself a jump start. <laughs> I don't think it works though. So. Here we go, 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Down, 20 seconds, one more set. You don't need weights. <laughs> Your body's enough. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, one more set, it's just 10 seconds. I know it's hard. Here we go. Up, start, 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Last hold, 20 seconds. Breathe. You could go to bicycles, crunches, whatever. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, and one. That was it. We have our last Tabata and a stretch. So a little bit different today. We'll see what you think about it. All right, last Tabata. <laughs> this is not good when I laugh, is it? Okay, we've got animal walks. So, abs and arm and leg. A little bit of push up if you want to. Forward and backwards. You don't wanna do that. You could do bear walks. You could just do inchworms. You could do mountain climbers, anything else. Last one, reverse lunge, touching down. Here, here, add a hop. 
high impact. Eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let's go ahead and start animal walks or whatever kind of core you want to do. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, just 20 seconds. Opposite arm and leg come together. Kind of like spider walk. A little bit of brain teaser, halfway. You can take it fast or slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Get ready for the next. Heel lift, catch your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse lunges. Opposite arm and leg. Add a little hop. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Just enough time to get ready for the next one. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds. Halfway. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Get some heel lift. Ankles together. We're ready for round four. In three, two, one. Here we go. 20 seconds. Halfway, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Round five, get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds, four more rounds. Over halfway now, and we get to stretch. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Round six. You ready? Catch your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds. Just 20 seconds at a time. If you're hopping, trying to explode off that one leg. Get to the next. Slight twist. If that hurts your back, forget the twist. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. One more of each. We're in round seven already. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Last time here. If you don't want to go down, you can always do jumping jacks. Don't have to come down. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We're so close. Last time. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds and we're done. Really go as hard as you can. Take all the stress out. Then you can relax after 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. How is it? So, go ahead and keep walking. Keep the blood moving. Keep those legs working. When you're ready, one arm up and over, stretching as much as you can. Try to go above your elbow. You don't want to grab your joints. Those legs moving. Arm in front. So you'll have to let me know what you thought of this because I know it's different for some of you. Other side up and over. Definitely a little more geared towards maybe a little more gymnastics and that type of thing. And then arm in front. And we did a pretty good job with our hamstrings. 
We'll do a quick hamstring stretch. A little bit of hip flexors. Take that hamstring out. Back nice and straight. Bring that toe back towards you. You should feel that all the way through the back of your leg. Twist that leg side to side, not just your foot. Your whole knee stays with your foot. Take a deep breath as you breathe out. Try to get that chest as close as you can to your knee. Gently bring this leg back, other side, forward. Get a little bit of a hip flexor. Slight lean back unless that hurts your lower back. You really want to open up right here. Straighten that leg. Bring that toe back towards you. Twist that leg side to side. Take a nice deep breath as you breathe out. Get that chest closer to your knee. Gently bring that leg behind you. Go ahead and get your wrist a little bit. Spread your fingers. Rock a little bit around your wrist very gently in each direction. Gently twist your hands out a little bit. Same thing, each direction. And very gently. This should not hurt. Just getting your fingers towards you and stretching as much as you can, as long as it doesn't hurt. And we'll get shoulders pushing through. Arms are straight, back is straight. Push through those shoulders. And then tabletop, we'll do a little cat cow, arching your back as high as you can. And then pushing down on that mat with your hands, opening those shoulders in your back. Stretch as high as you can. And then arch again. Bring your head up. And then bring your head down. Back and shoulders come up. When you're ready, get your ankles, your Achilles. Pulling your ankles in each direction. Stretch those Achilles out. Walk those hands back. As straight as you can with your back. You can also go here if you can't go all the way down. Twist from one side to the other. Hold here for just a second. When you're ready, gently come up. Have an awesome day. I will unmute you.